Well, the promised storm off the channel hasn't actually materialised for once and Priory Lane is looking rather smart and splendid and uh, the weather is set fair for what should be a rather interesting game this. We've got Braintree Town, the visitors, bottom of the table, played five, lost five and that's always, always a recipe for a surprise or two. Let's see how the borough can counter it here in the National League South. Well, we had the tangerines here last week and we've got another tangerine outfit in Braintree Town who kick off this National South game. And straight away, a ball through for Lua. Keeper is out. Oh my goodness, I think that was very, very close, let's say. Preston Edwards right on the edge of his area after 19 seconds. Dean Cox knocks it off to... Oh, a good ball from Hammond through to Charlie Walker. Hits a shot, which has just gone wide of the left post. Lua. Lua is past his man, too wide for the shot though, is he? Plays it in to Rollinson. Rollinson's shot is blocked. Cox also strikes one low and it's blocked by defenders. Oh, good little ball, edge of the area. Important block by James. Plays it forward, Hammond wins it. Plays one on and this time Lua is onside. Retrieves it just on the touchline. Nobody in the middle, he's thinking about the shot, I think. No, he lays it across. Cox pops it over to Preston Edwards. Room for the shot? Yes, into the arms of Franco. Hammond. Through to Rollinson. One more on to Walker. And then into Vaughan, and Vaughan is in behind, plays it across. Just too long. Right across goal. Another corner given into the crowd. Decent header, but not actually gone out of play. So Vaughan up to the halfway and Greg Lua with a good turn and Charlie has a chance to cut in here. All the way they're saying. Oh, he's pulled it wide and he's crossed with himself. Good throw in again. Dwayne lays it off. A wriggle and a shot. Wide. And here's Lua in. Into the area. Shoots, hits the keeper. Charlie has it. Into Hammond. Hammond to the edge. Lua controls it. Lays off. Innocent on the wrong foot. Lays it again. And finally it's plonked in. Dean Cox. Teed up nicely for him by Kai Innocent. A good weaving run by the fullback. Then set up perfectly for Dean Cox. And after all the pressure, the Borough are finally ahead. Cox's flat corner this time. And there's a shot, it was on target, now it's followed up, oh, and it just finds the keeper's hands. There you go. I did not fully clear, followed up. Oh, that's as good a chance as they've had. And nine. Come on, double figures, boys. Intercepted. Oh, ouch. My, my, it might just be a yellow card. First added minute. 1 0 they lead. Preston Edwards takes. So, just a single goal and Borough with work to do, you'd think. Cox. Ball on for Greg Lewer and he's on. And an important block. Playing on, says the ref. Good interception by Innocent. Can't quite get up in time. And on again goes Gordon. Edge of the area. Flung himself at that. Vaughan gets his way through. Big, big cross. Great save. Corner to the sports. And up the line it goes again. Just need the cross now. 
Hammond. Little flat ball into the D. Laid off. Oh, well, that one was uh, arguably easier than the one that Dean Cox netted. Just past the hour mark, 62nd minute. Still only one goal divides them. Kai Innocent. Oh, he was sold short there, but he's managed to collect it into Ferry. Ferry with a swinging ball out to the far side. Well controlled. Big ball in. Oh, could have been anybody's. In it comes. Very clear. Hooked clear. Oh, not cleared. Ferry fancies the shot, but couldn't quite find it. Now he's found his man. And a good short distance save. Slight deflection, but through it goes. Piling forward now. Man taken out, referee's playing on. Blade across. Keeper claims it, no. Second go he does. Interception, not far though. Now it's on the far side for the iron. There's the cross, headed out by James. Right, and after all that, we're now gonna have a yellow card. <laughs> Yet another corner, high in the night sky. Out wide boys, out wide. Now the cross, oh another really high ball. There's a header and I think a save by Preston Edwards, hard to see through the bodies. Born with the kick, a little bit of movement. Not the keeper. Yes! Granted past the keeper. Well, Charlie Walker got ahead of his defender there and Preston Edwards was helpless. It was a well-placed free kick and it's doubled the score. Good interplay down that far side. Now cutting in. Oh, doesn't quite find the man, but it's picked up still. Ferry crowded out for the shot. Splayed wide again on the right. Lower ball in. Corner. Corner comes across. Headed wide. Lambert. Oh, he's giving Walker plenty to do there, but he's there. Ahead of him goes Lambert again. Oh, squiggles across goal. Wide it goes to Lambert. Early ball in. Header? No, it's a strike. He didn't need the header. He got up and over it. A lovely delivery. A smashing finish. And it's three goals to nil. Ferry up the line to Innocence. A very worthy man of the match, young Kai. A reverse pass. Oh, and a handy place for a free kick. <laughs> There's a shot. And he's gone in all too easily. Through the wall. Well, doesn't every player wish it was as simple as that? The wall dissolves. And the goals are totting up now. Four goals to nil and everyone's getting in on the act. Well, well, a cascade of goals in the final 15 minutes or so has given the game the scoreline that really it deserved because uh, Eastbourne Borough have dominated the match from start to finish. Just the one goal in the first half to show for it, Dean Cox on the score sheet. And in the second half, they still pressed and pressed, even uh, against some fairly foul weather. But uh, they really made it count in the last quarter of an hour. Braintree, I'm afraid, were very much second best. We wish them all the best, but it's the Borough who march on up the table. And it's 4-0 at Priory Lane.
Well, after that uh, smashing 4-0 victory, we've uh, brought over the man of the match, uh, sponsored today by D&L Blinds, and many thanks to them for their support of the club. And it goes to Kai Innocent, and Kai, um, we're asking Serge to present you with the bottle of bubbly. Well, not me. Okay. <laughs> And it's just worth asking you guys, while we've got you up here, you know, we, we thought eight out of ten every week, really, you've been a real, uh, in, made a real impression. How's it been for you? Yes, yeah, it's, it's been good, especially stepping out of 23's football, coming into the men's game. It's been a, a big step, but a good step, and with a good bunch of people, so it's made it even easier for me. It's, is it physical, the, the main difference? Yes, yeah, it's, it's physically harder than 23's, but I'm coping with it quite well. And uh, you're putting up with the travelling all the way down to East. <laughs> yeah, it's a long two-hour journey. <laughs> but I'll do it. And how about today's game? Um, it went our way in the end. Yeah, so we had a frustrating first half, but I think the boys kept at it, kept at it, and eventually the goal started flowing and we deserved the win. Well, well done, Kai. And as I say, thanks for what you're putting in, not just today, but every week for the team. So Thank well you. Done, thanks. Well done, Kai. Cheers. Brilliant, mate. Well, the gaffer Danny Bloor has uh, sent over the, the brains behind the whole operation <laughs> tonight. Um, Sergio, uh, we were talking to Kai Innocent just now and he was saying it took a long time to make your mark. Yeah, no, um, I, thought, I thought the boys were brilliant tonight. Um, it's not easy um, before the game, you know, getting in against teams who are trying to defend a bit more is difficult, but um, they kept going half time. Um, we had a chat, just be patient and you know the opportunity is going to come and I thought, I thought they played really well today. You do get matches like that don't you where there's lots of uh, attacking, lots of creation and just not quite the finish. Yeah, yeah and, and, and it's easy to get frustrated uh, especially for the strikers once, once you know one or two uh, you know like Charlie Walker in the first half he had two or three that they could have scored and then but that's you know show his quality in the second half he just kept having it keep going at it and then scored two goals so uh, really pleased for Chelsea yeah and the converse of it is that to finish a match so strongly really gives you a, a great boost you know everybody I'm sure is bouncing in the changing room and you're up for the next one yeah yeah of course you know the the, the mood is, is good it's high uh, the boys trust each other we, we trust them they they're a really good bunch to work with like they, they're honest people and then they work hard for each other they you know they want to you have that desire that I keep saying to them, you know, if you got that desire to, to score a goal like Charlie Kendall come on and then great finish by him. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just a good group and then as, as long as we can, uh, you know, keep putting the performance, um, they, they, uh, yeah, they, they're really, really happy boys. Yeah. And, and can that sort of buoyancy and that spirit, can that overcome the physical fatigue? Because blimey, you must, you boys, you know, you're putting in two matches a week all the time, another one on Monday. Yeah, yeah, and then, then you know the boys, the boys there are uh, like, like, like you say, we know it's tough for them because they play on Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturdays, and and it's difficult. But I think once once the things go in your way, you want to play that, as many more games as you can, and um, we're going to try to recover as quick as you can for 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 the next game on Tuesday. Yeah. And I know that eight games in is not really many in a 40 match season, but it's rather nice to be up in whatever fourth or fifth place, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I keep saying to the boys, the last three years I, I was here and I was playing and we always normally look at the bottom of the league, you know, <laughs> we, we try not to look at the table too much, it's, it's too early, but um, it's better to be up there than to look down there. I know it's really hard for you having to uh, be in that technical area and mentally kicking every ball but not really but how are you adapting to, to the coach um yeah no I'm, I'm getting used to where well, it's been nearly a year now over a year and uh, I, I'm, I'm enjoying it I think like I said because I'm working with a great group of, of boys and um, Danny you know let, let me and Ben do the, the stuff like on the pitch the coaching and I'm really enjoying this part and I think after you finish playing the next best bit is to be a coach and uh, I'm re like I say, I'm really enjoying it at the moment. So, um, but thanks to to everyone who's helping. And when the lads know that you've you had a great playing career, that does that make it easier to coach them, to talk to them? Um, I don't know. I, I just you know, I'm, I'm I'm myself, and then I I never really speak about my career to them. But I just trying to help them, especially the players in the middle. Uh, I thought Hamo and Fez been superb. I like, play nearly every game this year, and then you know I keep talking to them a lot and the players in the middle. And but 
Ben Austin is helping me so much with especially with the back four and he's been he's been key to our to our success as well so um, and Tiggy as well you know we got we got uh, Sean the goalkeeping coach we got a great great team behind the scenes which uh, we kind of all pull in the same direction good times and thank you very much indeed sir. no worries